Good evening. Tonight I would like to talk to you about Bigfoot, Skinwalkers, and the Wu. As most of you know, Bigfoot is very much a flesh and blood creature. It's not an apparition. It is not a demon or a ghost. It, uh, it has hair. It walks. It breathes. It uh, has eyes. It travels in packs. It has a language. We've covered all this before. We know that it leaves footprints, a physical trace that it was here, and we can tell from the impacts on the ground of these footprints that it is a real creature. It is really here in our reality. It is not a figment of our imagination. Now, the other thing that we've also found from Bigfoot is we found hair samples. It has hair. We've been able to not match these hair samples found in areas of Bigfoot's to any other creatures because that's how it works. It always comes up as unknown. Hair samples you can only compare. So we found hair samples, we found footprints. The very word Bigfoot comes from their large footprints, of course. And we found their stick structures and tree structures and strange things in the woods that have been reported in Bigfoot areas. Hunting blinds, signaling, boundaries, messages, there's many meanings for these. It is uh, pretty much what they have in the woods to build and express themselves. Bigfoot is a very real creature. We even found their droppings, as I've discussed in other videos. Bigfoot is a real creature. Thousands of people, tens of thousands of people every year see them all across the United States. And, uh, but what gets me is there's a certain number of Bigfoot reports that have them with glowing red eyes. Not talking eye shine back like spotlighting deer. We're talking actively glowing red eyes. The eyes glowed red. They projected out. Now, some of the animals with the best night vision can appear to have this under certain circumstances, but to actively producing light, that's something not of this world. One of the other things that Bigfoot is reported to be able to do in certain circumstances that has been reported is cloak. Similar to like what you see here in the Predator, that it'll just disappear before their eyes. Now to me that could be interpreted that they are masters of camouflage in their environment, or there's really something else going on. Then when you start looking at the Native American traditions, especially the Navajo legends of the Skinwalker, other tribes have their versions of it. Skinwalker Skinwalker is essentially a witch, although it can be a male, um, somebody who has been corrupted and uses dark magic. They can hide their forms. In some ways, this is also considered to be like a trickster, where they can change their form into a coyote, a bear, other natural creatures that are out there. They are bad omen. They are, they are considered evil, or they are working on the side of evil. Skinwalkers are generally a very bad thing. Now, it would stand to reason, if you're here watching a Bigfoot video, and you've come this far, that you would believe that Bigfoots are real. And I do believe they're real. I've had encounters. And th through the preponderance of evidence of hundreds of years of Native American traditions, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of reported sightings, that they are a real creature, albeit elusive. So it only makes sense that the Native tribes who know that Bigfoots exist, that recognize them just as a bear, just as a mountain lion, just as a coyote or a deer, they recognize them not unlike another tribe of people usually that describe them. Sometimes they're discovered they're described as bad. Once in a while you get one that says that they're okay or indifferent to them, but a lot of them describe them as bad. So I think if they're one of the possibilities is that if they are in fact a real creature and these skinwalkers or whatever you want to call these Native American folklore demons that are able to shapeshift and change into different things. Why wouldn't they be able to change into a Bigfoot? And then why wouldn't they be able to make Bigfoot do things that you don't normally associate Bigfoot with doing? Glowing red eyes, disappearing, there are reports of them flying, reappearing and appearing. You get all sorts of strange stuff. Orbs of light, a flash of light, and then Bigfoot appeared 
although that might be more of an extra dimensional thing. But right now we're looking at skinwalkers. So it seems to me that this is a plausible explanation to maybe some of the things I know. There's been reports of very strange things happening with Bigfoot that don't go with a normal animal or even a human-like feral species in the woods. So this is one thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Know that the Native American tribes all over the place do have their versions of skinwalkers or tricksters or shapeshifters. And if Bigfoot's a real creature, it stands to reason that they could transform into these creatures. That's about all I wanted to talk about the subject. Thank you very much. Please like, please subscribe, and stay safe in the woods.